Hey guys, Tyler here, and I'm talking about if you're over 65 and you want to get flexible, what's the best way to do that, okay? And so one of the interesting things is, you know, we talk about people being over 65, being less flexible. That's simply because they didn't maintain flexibility. Uh, Jack Lane, the godfather of fitness, said, move it or lose it, right? And it's brilliant. It's an easy way to describe it. My point is this. If you never put your arm over your head with your elbow straight, for say 20 years, guess what? You're not gonna be able to do it anymore, right? And so if you're 65 years and beyond and you wanna gain flexibility, the number one thing you have to do is make a consistent practice out of flexibility training, okay? So you wanna identify what is tight on your body. Generally speaking, as we get older, we see people's thoracic spines and shoulders get tight. So you're gonna to wanna to get your hands up, you're gonna to wanna to start stretching that motion right there. We see people's chest get tight. So you're gonna to wanna to get your arm outward and start stretching your chest through there. We're gonna talk about hip flexors. Your hip flexors get tight. So you're gonna to wanna to start stretching those hip flexor muscles as well. Your hamstrings, your glutes, your calves, those are the most common areas that people get tight and you're gonna to wanna to stretch those every single day. Because guess what? Gaining flexibility is harder than people give it credit for, okay? People always say, oh, you just do this stretch for like a minute, right? Yeah, that's fine. If you do it twice a day, every single day, you're gonna make progress. But if you think you're gonna do stretches two or three days a week and make progress, especially as you've gotten older and you've really worked your way into being inflexible, then I'm sorry, but they're just lying to you. So you have to make a consistent practice of it. The good news is it doesn't have to be long. You need to identify those tight points so that you can be targeted with your flexibility training. So let's say your shoulders are tight and your chest is tight and your hip flexors are tight, right? Let's say you stretch your shoulders for two minutes, your pecs for two minutes, and your hip flexors for two minutes each side. Now you've got an eight minute flexibility routine. You do that twice a day, you're at about 15 minutes per day. That's it, all right? What you wanna do is stay consistent with that until you see a noticeable difference in your flexibility. So when you can start stretching your chest and go, oh my God, my arm is so much further back. You start bringing your hip forward and that hip flexor stretch. And you're like, oh my God, my hip is so much more forward. And then you go on and you identify more muscles that are tight and you repeat the process. The key is to stay targeted because if you just stretch everything for 10 seconds, it's not really gonna help, all right? So find out what's tight on you, stay targeted, stretch those muscles every single day, sometimes twice a day, because that is how you get flexible at any age. I hope this helped you out, gaining flexibility, especially beyond 65. If you guys dig this video, please help me spread the word message by clicking that like button right there. Otherwise, you can comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.